Hello again, Dreamcast interest havers. It's James from GG Dreamcast. And today we're playing Machin X once again. This is uh, part two of my playthrough, and we're going to just jump right into it. Okay, so in the last episode, you'll notice that we got to the we got to the end of this stage, Hong Kong, and uh, Kay, the main character, had a little monologue with us where she said that we didn't meet a certain character. Because I'm interested in in this game having seven different endings and sort of interested in how the gameplay choices affect which ending you'll get. I wanted to go back and just quickly replay this and see if we can go meet that character and see um, if we can find something that's different in, in the way the, the game plays out or the way the story progresses. So that's what we're doing right now. We're just going to try to quickly find that character and uh, see if we get any sort of different outcome. Thank you. 
Okay, so this is where we're going to uh, meet Fei Shan Li, who is the uh, optional character that we missed the first time we played through. What took you so long? I thought you were dead. Oh, you're Fei Chao's sister, aren't you? That's right. My master has been keeping an eye on Chief Sagami's kidnappers. So, now that you're here, we have a mission for you. Jaja, the big TV star in India? Defeat him! He sends radio waves through TV that steal people's souls. Somehow they infect the brain and this poses a serious threat to the world. Wait a minute. I, I don't want to go to India. I just want to save my father. That's not what's important here. Mockin chose you! It's your duty to save the human race! So you've got to defeat Shah Zhah! He can't succeed, or he'll destroy us all! But what do I do? I really don't understand why you were chosen. But I guess it's really Mockin's decision to make, not mine. So, what do you say, Mockin? Are you willing to go to India for us, or not? Yeah, so this is the alternate path. When we didn't get her, we immediately went to uh, Moscow in Russia. I'm not as the master, but my power is still impressive. Besides, if you need further convincing, I'm the only one who can enter Shaja's studio. Wait, if you get brain Jack, won't you lose your side? That's obvious. I knew that when I began training. It's a Blade Master's fate. Although, I knew that this might happen. I won't give up now. I don't fear any battle, especially not one this important. Okay, so now we've brainjacked Fei Shan Li, and you can see the pilot that we were uh, controlling is now <laughs> lying prostrate on the ground, unfortunately for, for him. Let's look around this room a little bit. Why not? So this is her room. She's just hanging out here. Okay. So you can see, since we've uh, brainjacked a new character, as always, we've got a new Makin, right? Ah, that's pretty cool. So you heard charge up is sort of a projectile, which is neat. Oh wow, it's powerful. Oh my goodness! She's so much more powerful than the uh, pilot. Which is great, because playing as that pilot was sort of torturous, I gotta say. He was, he was very weak. Not very good for uh, the situations that you saw throughout this level where there were a bunch of enemies all attacking at once. Let's grab this health. Okay, and this is the uh, end of the stage here. We'll finish this up. And we'll see where our path takes us. I think uh, Fei Shan Li, before she was brain jacked, said we were going to India. So that should be cool. A new place. It's pretty slow to charge up, I will say. side points because we need those for brain jacking. Much, much better than the pilot. Let's 
These are my Jet Set Radio enemies. Oh, we make quick work of them. Oh, wow. She's great. I love her. I don't think there's any reason for me to grab these health pickups. I'm pretty sure that once the uh, we get to the next stage, health is replenished completely, but just do it for the sake of uh, prudence. Cool, so now you can see we started at Hong Kong and we originally played that stage without picking up Fei Shan Li and we had this path to Moscow. But now since we've uh, gotten Fei Shan Li, we can go to India. So we're going to do that and we'll see what happens. Okay, so now this is all new, new progress here. So I talked about this in the uh, first first part of this playthrough quite a bit, but if you listen to the music, this is uh, Shoji Maguro, who, as I've mentioned, has be had become uh, has since become pretty famous for his work on the Persona series, um, especially starting with Persona three and four. Let's see, do we have to kite these guys onto the pressure plates, or what do we do here? Okay, there we go. We got we got one onto the plate. So that is what we have to do. There we go. So you have to move both of those crab boys onto the uh, plates. Singo Kai Swordsman. So I think the idea here is to get these crabs to uh, fall in the appropriate holes. Get them to land on the pressure plates. It shouldn't be much of a problem. Oh, 
Oh! Okay, we got one. <laughs> These crabs are so funny. It's just a funny design. I mean, and, and oh, I should mention that. That's uh, another thing we mentioned quite a bit in the first playthrough that these characters were designed by uh, another famous Atlas employee who did the uh, character design work for uh, Shin Megami Tensei and Persona. Okay, we have one more. You fool! Perfect. Door is unlocked. We can get all this, these uh, Psi points, which I mentioned in the first part again, in case you missed it, is uh, they're used for brain jacking. You can only brain jack enemies who are the same or a lower Psi level than, than yourself. Ah. Unbelievable. So I think if we go this way, that's the end of the level, but uh, since we have Fei Shan Li, she can use this panel and uh, access another Hake, which we're supposed to fight. But if, like I say, if we the game is influenced heavily on what decisions you make as far as brain jacking and dialogue choices. So if we had come here with a different character, we wouldn't be able to do this. Little girl prowling around my castle. I have a sneaking suspicion that you're a blade master, aren't you? A long time ago, my son got carried away by his desires, and to my dismay, he betrayed me. After I was confined in this place for so many years, I came to realize that a man is born with two sides. One is good, and the other, evil. All evil stems from the minds of men. No man is truly pure. No one can blame my son. After all, he is only human. This is why I believe in the absolute righteousness of Geist's plan and will follow him to the end. At last the world will be perfect, peaceful, and free of emotion. I will do this on behalf of my son and loving wife who I miss dearly. May she rest peacefully in her grave. On which you tread, you imbecile. Watch where you walk. Brutal. So we're seeing another interesting uh, character design by uh, Kazuma Keniko, which I mentioned earlier. I don't think I mentioned his name, but character artist for uh, Shin Megami Tensei and Persona. So that ultimate uh, attack of hers takes health away. I hadn't realized that. I wonder, if they, I wonder if they all do, all of the EX attacks. I mean, this might be, this might just be the way to win. See, I think there's health around here. Yeah, perfect. Should do it. Pretty easy fight.
if I'm being honest. Wow, that's uh, an interesting attack. So we're gonna we're gonna take this guy now. Go across these lily pads, I guess. And we'll just head to the exit of the stage. And now we're gonna go to Moscow, which is uh, where we had gone earlier when we hadn't brainjacked Fei Shan Li. But this time, the reaction we get from uh, Kitty, who's the blade master we met, will likely be a little different because we're in a different body. I feel so sorry for Shaja. To be betrayed by his own child. How sad. I don't think he's really evil. Let's go to Moscow. I would never betray my father. Never. Okay, now we're gonna go to Moscow. Blade Master Kitty. I'm Kitty. I'm the mighty Blade Master in charge of the flame. Hmm, I'm glad to see that you managed to make it back here alive. Oh, Big Bad Machin defeated a Hake. Just one? I've got to know, is my father okay? Do you have any idea where he is? I know where he is. Follow me and I'll show you. We will soon live in a time of suffering. This will be our challenge to obtain an everlasting kingdom. This is the will of our Lord who will lead us to a land of peace. Let us focus now to clear our impure minds and think of a higher power. For it is he and only he who will give us salvation. Religion encouraging suicide? Is the apocalypse so far away? I don't know about you, but from here, that seemed a little weird. Do you think the chief's kidnappers set this up? Maybe, maybe not. All I know is that the funeral industry will make a killing. The chief's data is heavily encoded. I was afraid of this. This will be hell to decode. What a pain. Anything else? Well, there's good news and bad news. Choose your poison. I could use some good news. How's this? The Chief's been sending all his data to Dr. Guinness. Mm, Dr. Guinness? That old guy who was opposed to the project in the first place? It doesn't matter why now. We should contact him. You know, I think it's worth a shot. What's the bad news? Unfortunately, well... Look, I found this. What the hell? This is human experimentation. I'm surprised it didn't surface until now. This is bad. What is? If this data's correct, Macon's artificial brain will choose its own side. Macon? Then... I've been saying Machen. It'll start fusing. Fusing? means Kay's side will be absorbed by Machen. Oh, Machen, okay, got it. And then what? The loss of her identity, her personality will be gone forever. Those without Psy can't feel or think anything. Kay will be a 
vegetable. No, no way! We've got to do something about this! That's Kay's friend. He's got a crush on her. If he's still alive... Stop it. Have you heard anything from Mr. Lee? Nothing. I guess somebody has to tell Mockin to go see Dr. Guinness. Europe is in such a sad state. That guy just I'm said Mockin, like Macon. What? Who'd want to go to a place like that? I will. There's no guarantee you'll find Kay, and it's dangerous. I'm going anyway. If only I'd done something earlier to save her. It's not your fault, Ko. Even if you feel responsible. It's not that. I just want to save Kay. I can't sit around until Mockin comes back. Chill out, Ko. You're just a kid. You need to think things out. Classic anime so line. Who'll pay for the trip? The fusion could start any time. It'll be too late unless we return Kay to her own body soon. I've got an idea. Why not let Ko do it? That's not your idea. In Moscow, you may be able to see Magen. And Dr. Guinness might be able to return Kay's sigh. But this is just speculation for now. We can't risk Ko's life on a mere possibility. I'm simply respecting his will. Ms. Miller, please. Please let me go. Oh. I suppose I can't stop you. I'll make a program that'll track Mockin's movements. Wait till I'm done, okay? Father! Father? 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 Talk to me! By the time we got here, it was too late. They had already taken his soul. I'm so sorry. Forget about your daddy. Blame Geist. He's the one that took Sagami's soul. Geist is not a human, you know. You see, he served this planet well a long time ago. But now, the only thing he wants to do is kill humans and take over the world. Not cool. I'm sure you've seen them. Those Hake, controlled by Geist, I hate him. Geist is hell-bent on obliterating our entire race, and won't stop till he does. There's no peace for humans in heaven. It's up to us to determine our own destiny. We've got to put an end to Geist before it's too late. Some of us have decided to devote our lives to saving mankind. We're known as the Blade Masters. We had to come up with a powerful weapon to destroy Geist. That's where you come in, Machen. Listen to what the Blade Masters say, and you'll be able to accomplish your mission. You came into this world as Machen, so now you must live with your fate. And as for you, Kay, if you really want to save your father, there's only one way to put an end to Geist. Understood. Please, defeat Geist. I'm ready to battle anyone in order to save my father. What a I good kid. Geist at any cost. Now you know the power of Makin. I'm glad you finally got Sagami's sigh. The energy from it's incredible. Look, here come Geist men. Listen, I'll contact you once you find out where Geist is. Until then, lend your powers to our European allies. Defeat Geist's followers so we can straighten up this chaotic world. Sounds like a plan. Don't I you think, dare oh. turn your back on the human race. Or I will destroy you. I took a turn. And don't you forget it. All right. Quick save.
Okay, this is Moscow. This stage is a little tricky. That Sangokai dragon. That's a tough one. Look at that, it just it just starts right off. Oh man. I just want Psy. Probably could have done that better. <laughs> oh, Lord. Let's see if you can deflect these, uh... to target him up there. supposed to be doing here. I hated that. I honestly don't know what to do about those flying enemies. I love this truck. Just hang out up there. Okay, the pro strat here is you save that X power-up that's in the other area for uh, when you fight the, the big enemy after this. Some more interesting designs, character designs. Very reminiscent of uh, Shin Megami Tensei stuff, of course, because it's the same guy that did it. Oh! Health. Why not? It's another one. I just I dodged into that. Which is not a pro strap. Okay. So we grab this this power up now. And uh, we'll be able to use it in the big scary room. This power up just makes you more uh, gives you higher attack damage. Defeat all enemies, this guy. Look at him. That's a grenade of some sort. That's another one. I don't like that giant hand. It looks like he's gonna grab me. 
He's too slow. He's got a Spider-Man logo. That's got to be some kind of infringement. Oh yeah, that shield. So you can't really get this guy from the front. Now I can see that that's the exit for the stage. I don't know if there's any reason to fight those uh, other guys that pop down. Yeah, that's it. Okay, finish the stage. I don't love that music as much as I've I've enjoyed some other music in this game. I guess they can't all be hits, but this this stage uh, select theme song. It reminds me so much of, of Persona. And like I've said many times in part one and probably again in, in this video already, music here is done by Shoji Meguro, who is, of course, the guy who uh, did a lot of, well, has done all of the work on uh, Persona and Shin Megami Tensei, so. So now we can go to Istanbul or London. And I'm not sure which one I want to go to yet, but I think we're going to go with London. Okay, this is a, a seems like a larger area than, than I'm used to seeing in this game, so that's interesting. So I know in the jab, this this eagle here to me looks sort of uh, I don't know. We're, I know we're supposed to be in London. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what this. In, in, I guess I'm getting at in the Japanese version of this game. There's uh, some Nazi imagery. There's swastikas, and I wonder if it was replaced for the uh, uh, Western releases. So I'm just interested to know if that's where it where it would be normally, or in the Japanese version. The Psy power-ups, they, they level up your Psy so slowly, I mean, it's its amazing. You can barely even see the, uh, the gauge moving. Okay, we have a switch. What is this switch? Ah, the underwater passage. Interesting, okay. Enemies make a very uh, interesting noise to me. I, I kind of like it. It's very distinctive, the little clicking of their claws. So 
So we have a path here. Not sure where this goes, but the... Okay, must have to take the underwater. Passage. A lot of these levels are linear, very linear, actually, and, and this one has been the first one that sort of has this open space where you, you seem to be able to explore more. But it may be deceptive, it may still just be a linear path. He's interesting. Interesting. Okay, yeah, he's got a minigun on his stomach. I really, I don't really want to give this guy the opportunity to uh, use that minigun. Oh, nice. Got him. Easy. I maybe shouldn't have said that. It's probably going to be more of them. Okay, we have a path here. Uh oh, oh, that's a big health power up. Let's take it. This little, this little good boy was just sleeping. Came in here and slashed him. Okay, once again we have a couple of different paths here. I'm always nervous about going certain paths in games because, you know, you get the classic sort of door shuts behind you and then you can't go back and maybe you missed something, but... We'll just, uh, we'll be brave. Yeah, come on out. I need your sigh. This one doesn't care. He's <laughs> just taking a nap. Yeah. Like, all right. Oh, now they're up. Oh, I'm not a fan of that. Got him. Got him. So this is, uh the ed end of the stage here, but I don't really want to go there yet. I want to go back and see what we missed in that other direction. And uh, luckily I left some health pickups on my way here. So I can replenish my health a little bit. There we go. Should be another one. Okay, and this was the other route that we could have taken. It was right here. Oh, I, I don't like them at all. Okay. Are they gonna come back up? <laughs> I love those enemies. I mean, they're, oh, no, I was, I was gonna say, they're the, they've been the easiest ones so far. Claustrophobic here. Okay, so this is the other side of that pyramid that we were on, right? I might as well get this, right? Easy. 
Oh, that's nice. Sneaking up on him. Oh, no, the minigun! Oh, no, I jumped down! Minigun's not too difficult to avoid, actually. Actually, easier to avoid that than it is his regular attack. Let's see, is there any reason to go here? Oh, that's a big health pickup. That would be nice. Oh no, it's going badly. He's, he's pretty quick. Big side pickup. Okay, it's, it moves the bar so incrementally, it's, it's hilarious. Oh, can I go through here? Yes, I need this help. That's great. Okay, if only I could get that one. How do I get it? I think I might be able to just hop up there and get it. Maybe I should try. Yeah, I'm pretty, pretty low. Oh no! Are there, are there two of them? I thought I heard. I thought I heard more than one sword attacking me. I was gonna. I was gonna just throw up. Oh, there are two. Okay. Terrible. I should never have come here. Uh, it looks absolutely horrifying. I have I don't want anything to do with that. Okay, cool. That's what I wanted to happen. Yeah, so you must have to uh, brain jack somebody else to come here and get access to that abomination. And uh, I guess we'll do that at some point. This is just, I think, where we came from, correct? But we just, uh, we climbed that, we climbed that ziggurat or pyramid or whatever it is. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, we just have to come back here with someone else. Which I'm kind of happy about, because with this amount of health and the look of that little creature and that, uh... Oh no, those enemies are still here! The look of that little creature in there did not make me want to, um... <laughs> fight that thing right now. Lovely, here we go. Oh look, it's the uh, Tower Bridge. Okay, so I'm going to take a break on my playthrough of Mach and X for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I didn't talk as much during this one, just because I wanted to uh, concentrate on what we were doing, make sure we didn't miss anything on, on these branching paths and the the uh, optional characters you can interact with and brain jack because I'm really I'm really trying to get that best ending for this game so that so that you all can see sort of the I don't know what you'd call it, the perfect ending the best ending whatever whatever you want to call it the one that is sort of the true ending and I think we're on our way to that we just gotta keep going and make sure we don't miss anything and pay attention but 
There's also less to talk about this episode because we talked a lot at last episode about the people that made this game and why I think that's important and why I think uh, it's uh, it's an interesting game even if there are some some little hiccups like clunky controls and some some uh, <laughs> difficulty level challenges that are a little you know more than we're accustomed to these days. But anyway, it's a great game. I hope you enjoyed watching the uh, episode here. Make sure you watch the next one. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks so much.